Welcome. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Laravel Valley. If we head over to the laravel.com site and to the Valley section and down to the installation section, you'll see that we've completed steps one, two, and three. And the only thing that is remaining is to require the Laravel Valley package and add the composer in the bin directory to our systems path. So let's do that. I'm going to copy this command and run it into the terminal. That's done. Next, we want to make sure that we add the composer vendor bin directory to our systems path. I'm using Z shell, so my configuration is found in the zeshrc file. This is the path that I add to my configuration. If you're not using Z shell and you're using something like bash, this line you would add to your bash RC or bash profile file, like so. And save it. After you've done that, we're ready to call the valet command. You will get a list of commands after running valet, and the command that we're interested in is valet install. Valet has installed successfully. Let's test that it works. We can do so by typing in ping, an example domain name such as foobar, and the TLD, which is test. And we get a response. Great. Now there's one more thing before we finish up. I'm going to create a directory called sandbox, and this is where I'm going to store all my Magento sites in. I'm going to register it with Valet by running Valet Park. And if we check the Valet path, we'll see that our directory has been added to the paths. So any sites we put in here will be served and picked up by Valet. And that's it. You've set up Valet and you're ready to move on. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.